appreciated your work and everything oh, that you're doing. You. So parent well, mentors, you need them, and you need the I need dependent. Mentors, okay. Yeah, and I need dependent adult transition. Those are my two major ones. I want to, and you know, I'm sure most people know that I'm retiring in uh, yes. April. April of I knew we'd get back to it. <laughs> yeah, 2022. That's oh. my goal date. So I would like to have all 50 states covered. And with both that resource coordinators and education current mentors, mm-hmm. I would like to have all 50 states. Mm-hmm. So, you know, Wyoming, right. those hard states where there are not a lot of people in them, they're out there and they're listening to this. Please reach out to me. If you're not real knowledgeable in the law, don't worry about it. I will train you. Remember, I came in not knowledgeable about TF. Yeah. And it's I think that awesome. if you are of that, like, like you kind of get into it. It's, it's almost like an all or nothing thing. Like you, it's either yeah, going to be really interesting to you or you're going to end up mm-hmm. weeding out the mm-hmm. one. So yeah, that would be something. I think that you should be hopeful that that will happen because oh, I hope so. That's, yeah. That's I think it's goal. trending upwards with awareness. Yeah. yeah. And, and it's so important. Education is key. Quality of life is so dependent. Oh, on it. It's yeah. just like you and I talk, the reading is so important to life. And yes. making sure that our kids and all TSC kids are my kids need to be able to read. They yeah. need to be taught. The school's responsibility is to educate, not only house them, but educate them. And reading is key. And even if it's just reading signs, stop, go, right, comment, right. whatever, they need to be able to read at yeah. some level. They yeah, and it's, I think that that, you know, hits on tan, too, because... If a kid can't express themselves and communicate and, you know, God bless neurodiversity, I love it, but they have to be able to, and I think that was with my son, he needs to be able to drive. I mean, I think that there's certain people that are affected and not able, and that's absolutely individual, but yeah, you just got to, you know, I kind of like finding out like, okay, well, I'm going to not push on this because that's not as important long term. Right. Right. At certain points, there's that trade-off, and, and that's okay, I think. Yep. Yeah, it is. And, you know, I would love for John to be able to sit down and write, but he can't. Right. His reading was more important, so we focused in on the reading. And hopefully, because of Idea 97, more children are graduating being able to read and write that yep. in the past. Absolutely. Day. Even... Just my short involvement has made me a lot more aware of the special needs stuff. And I've done some, took some classes locally just to, to know basics. It's so important. Mm-hmm. Just, it is. Yeah. It's just so important. Yeah. And, and I know families get tired and, you know, it's easy just to let the school do what they think is appropriate. Right. But, you know, unfortunately, when that child graduates and leaves to exit school, <laughs> Yeah, you've got you, you, yeah, yep, yeah. yep, and that's that's that wake up call that I think yeah. that fortunately I I got, yeah. but um, yeah. and it's, it's still it's still not easy. It's still, you know, there's not no perfect system, and you yeah. know, for the kid, typical kids, there's still no. always no. challenges as far always, as always always challenges, and then when you throw medical condition in on top of it, it's just twice as. It's horrible. It's just I know, I know, I know, I know. And I hate to end on that note because yeah. I think it's staying hopeful. And I know, like, from just what you've shared, how far, you know, I forget. And I think I jumped on board after you've, you've done a lot of work. I mean, the IDA was so much progress has been made that people oh. should be hopeful. And it's you now reauthorization will be happening again. They haven't had a reauthorization since 2004. So I'd like to encourage everybody out there that when reauthorization happens to the Individuals with Disability Education Act, get involved with your state department of ed. Be one of those parents that actually has a voice in that reauthorization. So the areas where it's not happening the way it should be happening, make sure that that's noted so that we continue to move forward. We don't want to go backward. We, you know, we fought really hard oh. in 97. Um, I can't tell you what a battle it was to get progress in the general. I can't imagine. Even in it. it was the hardest thing we ever did. But when it got in there, I felt, okay. Like the foot's in the door. Yeah. The foot's in the door. 
And now you can't just babysit our babies. There's you no going back. Educate, yeah. you, you can't. You have to educate them. They have to, you know, be part of the testing. They have to be part of everything. And and that was hard for me, um, the testing whole issue, because when kids with disabilities were exempted from that, they automatically got diplomas. Yeah, well, you so, know, in Massachusetts, I'll, sh- I'll say they have an alternate for like they have this they big do MCAS, they, they do. But you know what? See, I looked up the stats on the alternate because they sell you this. Oh, your kid can take the alternate and still mm-hmm. get a diploma. Well, seven. No, it's not a diploma. No, get, well, no. I mean that if they took, well, you know, you have to meet the whatever the MCAS mm-hmm. says. Mm-hmm. But then they say, well, your kid, if they have a disability, they can take the MCAS alternative and. Maybe they'll get, they'll be able to get to the level where they show needs improvement and be eligible for a diploma, but only across the whole state. Seven kids with disabilities over all the ones that took this MCAS alternative, which is a whole bunch of work for the teachers, only seven got needs improvement where they could get a diploma with this alternate testing. Yeah. So, I mean, there's mm-hmm. progress, but. Well, and, and the frustration part is, you know, when they get in that alternate stream of education, then we start getting Swiss cheese learning. Well, again. that's where my son is. Yeah. And so yeah. now he's, you know, and I'm okay with it because it's moving forward. And, you know, at certain mm-hmm. points you have to cut your losses and just, yeah. and I think with neuroplastic, and, you know, I think he'll, he'll lead his way and that's who he's supposed to be. But boy, not graduating with a diploma is tough to swallow. Well, it is tough to swallow. But he gets social services. You know, he's eligible. Right. right. And he's right. got them. So, yeah, I'm, that's yay. Good. Yay. That's good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's good. Yeah. You have states that they don't get a diploma, but they're still not eligible for service. Unbelievable. I don't know so, what that would be like. So, there you have a child who doesn't have a high school diploma. So, unemployability and most employers yeah. demand a diploma. I know. To even interview them or even have to do a, even an application. So then we have this whole population that is unemployed, that could be employed um, because they didn't have the high school diploma. And unfortunately, you know, and I know I wrote an article for Perspective, you know, make sure you ask, is this the regular diploma path or is this an alternate? Right. You know, ask those questions early early don't wait until you know they're junior oh well yep and yep i i'll have another story there but i'll save it for another day yeah not finding Mm -hmm. out and yeah Mm -hmm. they're really pushing kids like one way or the other i think is not the solution either you know having more vocational type stuff right which i see a lot more of and which needs to happen because we need individuals who are trained vocationally right if they can't get the education then they need a job that's right. And we have a huge shortage of people with vocational training. So that, I think, school systems are missing the boat by not totally. having vocational education for many. And many of, you know, my son's one of them. He's a hands-on learner. So he is, does well. So is my son. Yep. He's very yeah. mechanical. He can exactly. put stuff together and, like, eyeball yeah. stuff. Yeah, exactly. So why are we not utilizing those? Stories? Right, right. And, and we're <laughs> dinging that. We're not, we're not saying, oh, this is a great strength. Let's build on that. We're just saying, oh, no, no, you don't get a diploma, so you, you're you not employed. I know. Yeah. Where's, it's heartbreaking. Where's logic? It is heartbreaking. So, unfortunately, as hard as we pushed in 97, we developed stumble blocks along the way. So, now the reauthorization needs to happen again so that uh-huh. we can Okay, that's good to blocks. know. Yeah. Because so that's I'm, a huge I one. And I have no idea because I'm not at the national level with uh-huh. the PTIs to know when that reauthorization is going to happen again. But if it comes across my desk that it's happening, I will You'll make sure that everybody okay. knows. Oh, yeah. I'll say yeah. get involved with your state department of it, definitely. And that's so. Googleable easy, easily these days. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, Sounds thanks, good. Dina. Take care. Uh-huh. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Have a good one. Bye.